Good day to Miss Aria and I am Rokaman, metric number 277012 and the topic I would like to talk about for my persuasive speech is procrastination. Do you feel at ease or be fear? Do you enjoy threatening your existing or daily li little daily panic? Postponing or delaying something is known as procrastination. When we do this, it's typically an effort to temporarily reduce stress by delaying uh, difficult activities or avoiding failures out of fear. However, once the deadline arrives, you can experience regret, guilty, and anxiety, which will further intensify the uh, unfavorable feelings you already have about the task. According to the psychologist, contrary to the popular belief, Procrastination is not the result of laziness, bad time management, or a lack of willpower. Procrastination is an emotional control issue rather than a time management. Our ten tendency to put things off, our fear of feeling, our anxiety, our low, uh, our low self esteem, or our death or criticism. All are the factors that might make us less productive. You have been taught that putting off things is bad and that doing so shows that you are careless, unorganized, or unprofessional. However, you cannot stop yourself. Simply say you don't want to accomplish anything until the deadline is getting close. Despite it is negative reputation, there must be something you getting rid of the has been fueling the habits. The majority of people have an unfavorable opinion of this widespread phenomena, which affect 50% of college students and 20% of adults on a chronic basis. Despite this, procrastination has certain advantage. So, the first benefit that I would like to talk is energy boost. Firstly, procrastination provides an energy boost to get things done faster. Then, uh, procrastination is like an angel in your heart. The thing voice in the distance nagging at you to put more effort into the task. According to Jeff Weiss, the sympathetic nervous system of the body gets the body ready for persistent relax action when there is immediate stress. Cosido and adrenaline are received into bloodstream by the adrenal gland. The heartbeat quickness and blood pressure so as oxygen and energy are delivered to the muscles. It corresponds to turn into on an engine floater biologically. Typically, we put off doing jobs that like we dislike or that we know will time consuming or difficult. We let the energy to do this course and the anxiety of a off end and plot. approaching deadline cause the production of Alternaline, a source of energy. The use of fear as a motivator in procrastination. We worry about the repeatedness of missing a deadline as it's draw near. Fear causes the body to release adrenaline, a natural painkiller which makes doing difficult or less desirable tasks easier. Energy is the is the stronger benefit of procrastination. For some people, doing things in the last minute stimulate their brains to think about ideas. For some procrastinators, they enjoy doing things at the last minute because they think their concentration will be better, and the brain will be instantly stimulated to think about. To think about things, there will be a lot of youthful ideas in your mind in an instant. For people who are not procrastinators, 
they may not understand why it is necessary to keep things close to the deadline. However, for people who are procrastinators, they will enjoy it because who will not like our brains instantly will have a lot of idea to finish the task. Then we will look at the second point which is better ideas and work improvement. Procrastination can lead to better ideas and work improvement. While we are procrastinating, we have a longer time to bring better ideas or other improvements to our work. In some circumstances, such as those that allow you more time to acquire information, procrastination can occasionally help you make better judgment by help you more time to broaden before you act for your thoughts to simmer. It enables you to settle down and do activities after your mind has given it some thought. The outcome may be better in this case. So our mind are still conscious of the eventual completion of this task. You can find yourself considering ways to make whatever it is you have completed in your days to days assistance at work at and at home better. Working on a deadline can greatly increase your ability to influence. You can approach the same issue from various, uh, various angles and come up with what a with a whatever answers if you can increase your imagination. As a result, you can solve problems faster and hence more productive. For example, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was finishing editing minutes before he was scheduled to deliver his legendary speech in Washington in 1963. Procrastinating a task gives you time to develop your thought about the work. You give your brain time to consider a variety of ideas rather than immediately rejecting the first one that comes to your mind. In actually, there are occasions when we put off doing something just because we don't have the perfect idea. Before acting, Procrastination gives you chance, the chance to drink deep into a variety concept. Procrastination also enables you to come up with a more creative and completed idea that you can uh, with your first instinct. Much like the maturity period of a good wine. According to Adam Grant, putting off tasks allow you to contemplate other viewpoints, think outside of the box, and take the unexpected deep truths. I guess the previous benefits already capture your attention, right? You must have a different view on the procrastination than just the cons. There is the one last benefit that I will definitely make you want to learn more about procrastination. Okay, finally, procrastination offer health benefits. Compared to non-procrastinator, procrastinator are less stressed and healthier when they are far from a deadline. According to Cho, procrastinator were not paralyzed by worry. Additionally, they display fewer avoidant behaviors and less stress and have better self-efficacy. For example, when some tasks are handed over to people who don't procrastinate, they will they want to finish the task at hand as soon as possible. Even if the deadline is long, this situation leads them to brainstorm a lot of the ideas in a short period of time and it caused them to be really stressed and often stay up late. Conversely, procrastinators will do the work at hand slowly because they know the deadline is still long and they will have enough 
of time to slowly think about the ideas and so they don't get stressed and stay up late to do things so they will have better health. Procrastinator will have a better mental health compared to non procrastinator Procrastination can reduce anxiety which it can boost motivation and calm down as you are not focused on completing the task. Therefore, it saves the mental health and helps to work better. Non-procrastinators will feel very anxious about their tasks because they are very concerned about the effort on the task. So when they get the task, they will start to it immediately. And when they do not do well, they will feel very pressure and need to be very anxious. This situation will cause us to have some influence on the mental. Excessive anxiety can lead to increased susceptibility to depression, memory problem, and more loneliness and dissatisfied with life, which can affect physical, mental, and health. Uh, social health in long run. For example, the elderly often feel nervous and worries involuntarily causing mental distress or affecting their normal life. Therefore, procrastinators will also benefit. They will slowly deal with the task and do it step by step instead of rushing to complete it all the time. Where cannot when they cannot achieve the result they want, they will feel anxiety. In conclusion, procrastination is a bad habit, but it also has some positive effects such as providing boost energy to get things done faster. It can also lead to better ideas and work improvement as well as health benefits compared to not procrastinating. Procrastination advantages are rarely discussed and is typically viewed as time-wasting strategy. Actually, it's not only a disadvantage but also have many advantages. So everything has good side and bad side. So we cannot just look at the disadvantage of the procrastination. We also need to know more about the advantage. Therefore, people don't always think that procrastination is a bad thing.